Howdy do, fellow gamers. Today's video is gonna be a brief one since it's taking me a bit of time to collect enough data from the PTS for the upcoming gold-related video. So I took the opportunity to check out a new world event that will be part of the zones that came out with the High Isle chapter. I found that world events are one of the more defining features of a chapter, and likewise the new zone that accompanies it. World events are one of those things that give us a reason to explore a zone and keep us coming back to that zone long after we've completed a plethora of content in it. Not only are world events among the most challenging overland PvE content, but they typically reward you with some pretty neat plunder, which makes tackling these world events all the more gratifying. For example, the dragons and elsewhere have a chance to drop valuable dragon materials used to create expensive potions that can be sold for gold or consumed in environments where min-maxing your performance is crucial, such as score pushing in PvE or partaking in sweaty PvP. We've all seen those corrupt of Andes that have 100% uptime on their ultis, I swear to god. Although the material that has a chance to drop from Harrow Storms isn't currently all that sought after, Harrow Storms, like dragons, also have a chance to drop document pouches that may contain very valuable furnishing plans in them. Even world events that are easier in nature like Daedric Portals and Somerset Geysers can drop valuable goodies to collect or sell to others for gold. This makes defeating world events a great passive activity to engage in if you're interested in making gold. So naturally, as a bit of a gold enjoyer myself, I was excited to check out High Isle's new world event, the Volcanic Vents, and see what goods are in store for those of us that seek out perilous world events for fortunes to sell. Volcanic Vents operate similarly to the Somerset Geyser world events. They have specified spawning locations throughout the zone that can be identified on your map once you discover them. You can spot an active volcanic vent from a fair distance because of the pillar of smoke that emerges from it. You'll also be able to see which previously discovered volcanic vent site is currently active by glancing at your map and spotting the recognizable dual swords icon that will pulse at the active site. There are other minor volcanic incursions scattered throughout the Sisters Archipelago, but I'd hardly call these world events as they barely spawn any ads and there isn't any reward chest associated with defeating them that I saw. The volcanic vents spew out waves of ads that you're responsible for defeating. Just like Somerset Geysers, ads have specific locations that they tend to spawn from. You don't have to take them all on at once, you can just stick to killing the ads that spawn from one little vent at a time. Once you see this green symbol form from the vents that you were attacking, that means that you've defeated all of the ads from that vent and can move on to another one. After all of the adds have been defeated from the three smaller vents, a final boss emerges and must be destroyed in order to complete the event. Much like Somerset Geysers and Dolmens, there are a handful of different final bosses that could spawn at the end of the fight, each with their own set of unique mechanics. I'm not gonna lie, these vents seemed pretty intimidating at first, especially as a vampire ERP -er, what with all that fire damage, but these vents were not too difficult to solo. To be fair, I did have Bastion out for some of these fights, but he's pretty inept, okay? He's supposed to be my tank, but I've ended up being his caretaker, and not a very good one at that apparently. If I had to compare the difficulty of this world event with that of others, I would say that volcanic vents are trickier than geysers and daedric portals, but not quite as tricky as dragons and harrow storms. Upon successfully defeating a volcanic vent, you can interact with the volcanic cache to receive your rewards. As of recording this video, most of my rewards have been pretty lackluster, to be honest. I've received some random trait stones, rune stones, volcanic viridian, uh, jewelry from the zone, some random rocks <laughs> that can be sold to a merchant for gold, and etched. I'm not even gonna try to say that. The latter is the style material that's required to craft armor in the new ancestral Breton style. As far as I'm aware, none of these materials are particularly useful because they're not essential for any kind of furnishing, recipe, or potion that's readily used by all sorts of players. The etched molly whatever the f may be the most valuable material that I've received from one of these events. I wonder if perhaps there are other possible rewards that could drop from these events that are much more valuable that I just didn't get a chance to receive myself from my time spent on the PTS. You will be able to complete volcanic vent dailies, so that does lead me to believe that there may very well be an additional reward that you may be able to receive from this world event endeavor. 
maybe a motif, much like how the daily world event quests for dragons and harrow storms have a chance to reward you with unique motifs. That would be appreciated as these world event motifs tend to sell for reasonable amounts of gold. All in all, my first impression of this new world event is that volcanic vents are pretty fun to fight, and I appreciate knowing where vents are active in the world so that I can get to them with ease if I want to, much like geysers and dragons and harrow storms. However, I was a little disappointed by the prizes that were rewarded upon defeating these world events. They're all very immersive, don't get me wrong, seeing as they're all rock related, but unfortunately, rocks just aren't as valuable in Tamriel as, say, dragon materials or her shiny pearls. Who would have thought? Now, if Vents had a chance to drop Tempering Alloy or something, or a Mundane Rune, that would be based. Even if, let's say, these Vents do have a chance to drop Furnishing Plans or some other neat reward, I got nothing of value from 5 Vents, and I see that other content creators have had similar luck. I don't like those odds. At least events such as dragons and harrow storms almost always drop items of value, as well as the occasional furnishing pouch. I don't think I'll be taking my guild out for a volcanic vent farming event the way I would take them out to fight dragons because I just don't think it's all that profitable of an endeavor from my experience on the PTS anyways. Despite that, I'll likely still do a volcanic vent daily to receive the goodies that come from those reward coffers. What do you guys think about this new world event? How do you think it compares to other world events? I'd be interested to hear your thoughts in the comments. And that's all for this video. As always, I'd like to say a quick thank you to my YouTube members for sponsoring this content and all of you guys for watching it. Alright, I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers!